As a starter in Warframe, you may have some trouble finding the best weapon for where you are at in the game. Everyone watching this video is at a different point in the game. You may have finished some quests that give you great weapons like the New War, which gives you an amazing and powerful bow called the Natarok, or the Sacrifice, which gives you Umbro's Sword, which is one of my favorite melee weapons in Warframe. You may also have just started and have no idea what I'm talking about. So in this video, I will show you some of the best starter weapons. These weapons will obviously be easy to get and will have a low mastery rank lock on them. To start off this list is the New Core. The New Core is a great secondary weapon that shoots a beam of radiation, melting any enemy it touches. You may have heard of the better version of this, the Kuva New Core, which you unfortunately will not be able to get for a while. The regular New Core, however, will be great as your go-to secondary weapon as a beginner. With the New Core and every other weapon in this list, I upgraded it to fit what a starter may have. Obviously, yours may be modded greater than this. You can add a catalyst and have a ton of capacity, as well as using better mods than I have on these weapons. The new core is unlocked at Master Rank 4, making it one of your first weapons that you can take and mod through the whole star chart. Another plus of the new core, besides it being a beam of radiation, is that it has a very high critical multiplier, making this weapon an all-in-one type of weapon. However, it is pretty heavy on resources, and you do need a clan that has a chem lab. The rare or high value resources you need for the new core are Forma and the Dead Knight Injector. These are resources that can be crafted by blueprints, getting the Forma blueprint from Relic Runs and the Dead Knight Injector from the chem lab or from invasions as your reward. The rest of the build is very easy, but it's all worth it. Having a weapon that can deal huge elemental damage and high critical damage can carry you through any type of mission. Moving on to one of my first starter weapons, and one of the most popular starter weapons is the Heck. The Heck is a shotgun which is a primary weapon that is very easy to get. The Heck is the best starter shotgun and possibly even the best starter weapon overall. The Heck is a Mastery Rank 4 requirement as well, but unlike the new core, it isn't heavy on resources at all, and you don't need a clan. The Heck can be purchased in the market under the weapons, then the primary weapons section. The BP doesn't cost much, and the most difficult resource to get are 5 Neuros. The first planet that has this is Earth, which which you should be able to easily get as you go through the missions on Earth. The Heck has two variants, Kuvan Heck and Vakor Heck. The Vakor Heck will be easy to get if you want to get it. You can get it by choosing the Steel Meridian Syndicate and ranking up to the highest rank, then purchasing it for 100,000 standing. Overall, the Heck is a good choice as a starter primary weapon. Modding it is easy, and then going back to the Steel Meridian, you can get a mod early on into the rings called Shattered Justice, which gives it a 200% multi-shot, which is amazing for a starter weapon. Once you get to the planet Uranus, you will encounter a boss, Tal Rigor. The weapon that he uses, which is next on this list, is the Ack and Brunt. The Ack and Brunt is a melee weapon that is a sword and an axe. This weapon requires a mastery rank of 3 and is a very fun melee weapon to use. Having the unique ability of a shield that can block shots from enemies and can be thrown at them, and the main damage this weapon deals is Slash, which can easily be modded and is one of the best damage types in Warframe. The Silva and Aegis is another great sword and shield melee combo. I used the Silva and Aegis when I first started so it is another viable option when compared to the Ack and Brunt. You may prefer the Silva and Aegis over the Ack and Brunt which is alright. The Ack and Brunt seems to work better later on, better than Silva and Aegis when it comes to late game. Either one is a great weapon and I recommend trying them both out. The Ack and Brunt is just like the new core when it comes to resources and acquisition. You can get the blueprint in the chem lab like the new core while having to get Forma and some Dead Knight injectors to complete the build for this weapon. Next on this list is a melee weapon. This weapon was my go-to melee weapon, especially the Prime version. This melee weapon being the Orthos. The Orthos requires a Master Rank of 2, which makes it the first good melee weapon you will craft. The parts and acquisition of this melee weapon are very easy, unlike the Ack and Brunt. It can be purchased at a cheap price in the market, with the resources all being easy to get. The rarest or hardest resource to get for it are Morphics. Morphics are pretty easy to get, making this one of the easiest weapons to get and build on this list. The Orthos is a polearm, meaning it's a long double-ended sword basically. This weapon is built around slash damage, which makes it a fun and satisfying melee weapon. The Prime version of the Orthos is obviously much better and was my go-to weapon like I mentioned. Overall, it is a very easy weapon to build and get with it also being one of your first melee weapons you can build. That's what put it on this list with another great polearm, the Guandeo. Now the Guandeo is similar to the Orthos but is better with overall damage. This melee weapon is unlocked at Master Rank 4 and like the other melee weapons deals mainly slash damage. Just to state again, slash damage is one of the best damage types in Warframe and slash can go through armor and makes any enemy bleed. In other words, slash goes straight to their health and drains it. The Guandeo also has a high crit chance and multiplier. This is great for starters since damage mods and crit mods are easy to come by. 
the common ones at least. In order to purchase the blueprint, you will need a clan similar to the new core in Acton Brunt, but you will purchase this weapon in the Tenno Lab in your dojo. However, it is very easy to build this weapon. The rarest resource you need for this is Gallium. Gallium is very easy to get, so this should be no problem for you. Like I mentioned, this is similar to Orthos, but the Orthos will be unlocked before this and will be easier to get and build. Now going back to primary weapons and another shotgun, Strun. The Strun is very easy to get, even easier than the Orthos. All you have to do is purchase it in the market for 25,000 credits. This will be one of the first weapons you get that's not a melee weapon and will take you through most missions. However, the Heck is much better in terms of overall damage. The Strun has a higher status chance and has a high overall total damage. A common weapon that this is compared to is the Boar. However, it is not as easy to get the Boar as it is to get the Strun. Like I mentioned, you just have to purchase the Strun with credits, while the Boar you have to get the blueprint from an enemy, a trooper that drops the blueprint. And the stats are pretty much the same, if not worse, than the Strun. Not much else to say about the Strun, it's the easiest weapon to get, and it's unlocked as soon as you start in Warframe. It has decent stats and is really good especially for how easy it is to get. Moving on to the second and last secondary weapon, it's the Aklex. The Aklex is a dual pistol style weapon unlocked at Master Rank 4. You could purchase this blueprint in the market, but this build is different than anything else on this list. You need to have or to have built two Lexes in order to build the Aklex. The Aklex has a good crit chance with a decent amount of damage. For most of these weapons, I have just showed the build I have that Starter would be able to do easily without elaborating on the build whatsoever. Those weapons are basic, just build on the high damage type or either crit or status. That's how you make your starter weapon better with starter mods. However, with this weapon, it is important to note that you should build on fire rate like I did. Stuff like fire rate or ammo is something you should always pay attention to when you use it. It will make your experience with any weapon with low fire rate or ammo much better. Next is the Vectus, the only sniper rifle on this list. The primary weapon is unlocked at Master Rank 2. The Vectus has a very high headshot damage. When you zoom in, it gives you an even higher headshot bonus. It has a really good crit chance, status chance, and just overall damage. This weapon is great at dealing damage. The downfall is that it's a sniper rifle. You may not like the playstyle of a sniper rifle, especially in this game. You can get the blueprint of this in the market with the resources being fairly easy to get. The hardest thing to get are new roads and Oricon cells. You may have had a hard time farming Oricon cells at a low level, so I would recommend looking at my video on Oricon cell farming and seeing how long it will take you to get to those planets if you're not already there. The next weapon in this list is something I never knew was a thing in Warframe until I started making this video. The next weapon is a primary weapon called Dara, which is unlocked at Master Rank 4. Dara is a corpus rifle that has a high fire rate, high ammo maximum, and a high reload speed. It has a pretty good status chance, nothing too special, but that is something you would build on. The Dara is actually pretty good even though the damage stats don't show for it. This is another weapon you have to get from my lab in your dojo. You can purchase the blueprint from the energy lab in the dojo, with the hardest resource to get being Forma and Fieldron. You can build Fieldron from its blueprint in the energy lab as well as getting it as a reward from some invasions. Forma, like I mentioned before, are from relics. There are a ton of relics so it should be no problem getting a blueprint for this. You will need a rare resource like Orkin cells to make Forma but they're pretty easy to get and build. Overall, the Dara is a fun and good rifle to pick up. The resources and acquisition is pretty hard compared to other weapons on this list. Now for the last weapon on this list, the Bultor. You may already have the Bultor's blueprint and you may not know it because it comes from the Mercury Junction. If you don't get it from that, which is the easiest way to get it, you can just purchase the blueprint from the market. The resources to build it are easy to get, especially with it being an early weapon to get. The rarest resources you need are Neurodes, which you can get on Earth, so it's very easy to build, has a free blueprint from the Mercury Junction, and it's unlocked at Mastery Rank 2. The Bultor mainly deals puncture damage, which makes sense once I describe what this weapon is. The Bultor shoots bolts, has the name, but these bolts can pin enemies to a wall or anything that's behind them. It does have a fall off, so if an enemy is running, you will have to aim in front of them, not at them. This is the same as the Dara, mentioned before this, as it also fires the same and shoots the same as the Boltor. The Boltor is very easy to get, so there really isn't a reason not to get this rifle. Now before all the starters leave, I want to mention something that you will need to know, especially in order to get some of these weapons. You need to join a clan. This should be one of your first things you do and will get you to some of these weapons, plus other good weapons later on as you rank up. When you join a clan, you will have to build a clan key, which is automatically put in your foundry once you join the clan. This will then let you into the clan dojo, located in your navigation, which should have all the labs. Make sure before you join a clan that they have all the labs in it. You may just have to join and hope they do, but you can still ask before joining. You can ask to join a 
clan in the recruiting tab in your chat it should already have an automated message that says you can look for squads and clans in this chat and with that that's all i have just make sure you join a clan as soon as you can in order to get some of these weapons as well as other weapons that would be great for late game just to reiterate this list is for starters not people who are already at mastery rank 8 or so on this video and lists are for people who just joined and have no idea what to do or what weapons to get this video will help those players or you if you are that player do not waste time and go straight to the best starter weapons now before I end this video, if you're still here, please let me know if this was too quick, if I didn't describe a weapon as well as you would want me to. I know I kind of went quick throughout this video in describing weapons. I basically just wanted to say what they're really known for, where to find them and how to build them, like the resources, the market or clan, all that stuff. That's something that you really need to know and then you can focus on how it performs, what damage is best on it etc. I'm hoping that when you look at the build that I have and you see which numbers are higher than the others that that's what it's known for or that's what it's best for. I didn't really elaborate on any of the builds just because I thought the screenshot kind of showed all that you need to know. I know a lot of you are starters and if you're still listening to this again please leave in a comment if the next time I make a video like this I need to elaborate more on you know, what damage it does, the style of the weapon, what the weapon really does and etc. I can do this for frames and other things that are going to be more geared towards starters in Warframe. Now with all that said, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.